I love peppers. Good morning, folks. Well, I just gotta say, I'm mad at you. Some of you, anyway. Not all of you threw me to the wolves. But mostly it did. It said that Cindy should have that backpack. She keeps saying crazy things like, I got too many backpacks. That's like saying I got too many guns. It just ain't possible. <sighs> anyway, this backpack, I see she dug my gold pan I found. This is a neat one. I found this up um, one of the ranches rent one of the ranches I was working for up in the up in the woods. And I don't know how old it is. It's old enough that it's got a hole rusted through it. But that's pretty neat. Anyway, what my thought was was to put that onto that backpack and do some stuff with it. But uh, she dug that out, so I'm kind of guessing she's going to do that. And what she comes up with is probably going to look better than what I would have anyway. But anyhow, what I was talking about with the, the backpack mounts, um, if you've never seen those, I think they're really cool. I really like this one, the bear one. Uh, a lot of times, especially in the spring, you'll end up getting a bear that uh, is rubbed. They come out of their dens all itchy and stuff, and they'll rub on trees and knock a lot of their fur off, so they wouldn't make a good rug or something anyway. One of these backpack mounts would be really neat, and I'd really like to have one of a wolf. But I don't know if I really want to... I don't know, it wouldn't be a waste of a wolf pelt, but I don't know if I really want to use a wolf pelt on the, on that. would be cool but all that stuff costs money and taxidermy fees have really gone up in the last I don't know 10-15 years so I don't know if I'd do it anyway but don't tell her that <laughs> anyway it got me to thinking um, me having too many backpacks what a foolish thing anyway I figured I'd show you a few of them what <laughs> It does. Look at it this way. Come Christmas, we can put make believe Christmas packages strapped to it. Yeah. Oh, you know what this means? No. It means I don't get my backpack back. Well, eventually you will. <laughs> well, it's not like you don't have others. Though. You don't think so? No. <laughs> <laughs> that one's gone forever. It, it's. I'll never get it back, guys. It does look good. <laughs> yeah, it looks good. <laughs> <laughs> now all we have to do is wait and hopefully fall will show up. It's been so hot here. I know. Today was probably about 80. It was... It was really warm. It's not supposed to be quite this warm this late in the year, but I don't know. I'm not going to complain. It's going to be cold enough soon enough. Yeah, you got to enjoy the weather while you can. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you know I'm not really mad at all. She made it look really good, but she always takes the best ones. Those ones are hard to come by. Um, my favorite type of backpacks are packboards, and I've got quite a few, actually. I've got 
a bunch of these military ones and a bunch of these others. But these military ones, I've always liked these. They're reasonably lightweight, but they are a little bit heavy. But they're made out of a bent, bent steamed wood. And uh, you can carry anything on these. I mean, they were, you know, anything meant for war uh, is usually pretty darn stout and tough. But you ever watch, or not watch, but any, ever read any of uh, Pat McManus's stories? He used to be the, it was on the last page of Outdoor Life. It was uh, the last laugh, they called it. And uh, they were always funny, but his deal was Grogan's Surplus Army store. And <laughs> Surplus Army, that's, I mean, when you think about it, that's about the best you can get. Uh, when you think about it, uh, all a war really is is a big hunting trip that you're after two-legged animals. But these things, these old uh, pack frames... Um, these were World War II. Most of them were dated. Yeah, that one's 1944. From the Red Lion Cabinet Company, March 7th, 1944. Anyway, these are these are great backpacks. They're, like I say, reasonably lightweight, but they're not they're not terribly lightweight. This one here, same thing. And again, May 24th, this time, 1944. So they're both World War II. This one has a quick-release strap. I don't think the other one did. This goes through like that. Like that. So if you need it off quick, you just flip that up, and the whole thing falls off. At least off of one shoulder. This one, I added a, I added a pack bag to it. It's a... Oops, got hornets in there. Uh, it's also an army bag. That's a pretty good size one. And between the two of that, that's good for packing meat. It's big and it's heavy. It's That's one bad thing about them. You can pack an awful lot, probably more than you can carry. But you know, the backpacks now, they make them with internal frames and they're nylon and they're some sort of a alloy and all this stuff they're supposed to be lightweight and i don't think they are i mean the, you can spend hundreds of dollars on a backpack and i think these things are actually better i uh i bought one from a guy in town and i ended up giving it back to him and a few years ago when i backpacked into our old hunting camp area and it was a nice pack, but it's heavier than what I'd like. And I don't know. I mean, space-age modern materials aren't always better. I really like these. And these are hard to come by. This, I guess, was a firefighter's backpack at one time. It's unmarked, but it's real thin. It's probably hickory, maybe oak. And it's just riveted together with the same rivets that I use on my leather work. The, this uh, cotton cotton military webbing. I mean, that weighs, I'll bet that weighs two pounds, three pounds at most. I mean, it's about as bare bones and basic as you can get. And I really like this. This These, you can put these on, go all day long, and never even really know you got one on there. And again, if you want, if you want a bag, I've got another one here. It's the same pack frame, wooden part, with an old, probably Boy Scout bag on it. Standard trail camper, it says. Um, it's not as big a bag as as that one there. This would be more of a day pack, but it weighs nothing really. I've got some of my coyote calling stuff in here, some snow camo and that kind of thing. This pack pack, I've gone a lot of miles with this one, and uh, that's actually one of my most favorites. I used used to use that quite a little bit, but now my knees have kind of given out. It's hard to do much, but 
if I'm going to go backpacking, that's probably the one I'd grab right there. Although I do have a couple of those Alice packs that I'll show off here too. And those, those are pretty lightweight. They hold a lot too. I might grab one of those over that one, but most probably that one. This one, this is my prospecting setup. And again, it's got another one of these wooden backpacks with the copper rivets. These are hard to come by now. I used to find them fairly regular, and if I ever see any more, I'm going to buy them, just because I'm, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a backpack hoarder. I like bags. I like backpacks. I don't like this stand I'm using. It's falling down. But inside of here... You know, you see the gold pan, of course. I, they've got several of them stacked up here that do various things. Inside of here, I have a homemade sluice box and uh, all my prospecting stuff. And I really wanted to do that again this summer. And once again, here it is fall. And I don't know if I'll get a chance to do it or not. Down the, down the river road, you know, we had that big forest fire. And... Uh, down that way, there's a lot of washouts, and that's all prime gold country. Shoop was a gold mining town, so was Leesburg, and that's right kind of in the middle of it all. And some of those washouts that, you know, when the, when the trees burn and all the grass burns, the roots don't hold the soil back anymore. And so you get a good rain, you get big washouts, and some of those are cut pretty darn deep into the ground. And... Uh, I'll bet you there's gold. I mean, there's almost guaranteed to be gold. Whether it's big enough to make any difference or not is a question, but I'd like to go look if I get a chance. And here it is, like I said, fall. I probably won't. But like this little guy, these little bags, if it's not a backpack, it's bags. I like those too. Any of the surplus army stuff, like I said. This one just has a little carry bit handle on it. But this is kind of a neat one. It doesn't have a flap. It's just just a big open bag. But you can kind of adjust it to size with the with the straps. And I haven't used this one. I've got <laughs> I've got several I haven't used, which is why Cindy glommed onto that one. But this one here, these are great. I've got several of these too. Somebody sewed a patch on here. Army Security Agency Association. National Army Security. Um, proud member. But these are great little bags. We use these a lot for rabbit hunting. They've got these bullet loops. Cindy puts four tens in the one I got for her. It's got this pocket, pocket here that you can put, I don't know, your binoculars or something in. And mostly we use them for rabbits, so we stuff them full of rabbits as we go. Limits, I don't remember, six, I think. But it's just got a shoulder strap that you wear crossways, you know. And like I said, we've got we've got several of these. You know, you used to see, and it seems to be kind of coming back in style, you used to see a lot of those um, backpacks like I have attached to those pack frames, um, hanging on the side of an old army jeep or maybe over the uh, spare tire or something like that because those are army jeeps i've got you know mine's a civilian but it's the same thing um, you don't have a lot of room on the inside so they would hang stuff over the outside to give them more room and um, i've been seeing a lot of these newer jeeps and things doing that now backpacks hanging off the spare tire mainly but that seems to be kind of coming back in style, which I think is kind of neat. This one, this one's either Swiss or German. I'm not sure which. It's got a, it's got a pack frame on it, which I like, but I like the pack boards better. You can lash anything to a pack board. This one's got big roomy, big roomy bag on the inside. I mean, it's got lots of room. It's got big pockets. I used to use this one quite a little bit too, but I haven't in a long time. It feels like there's something in here. Oh yeah, some of the most important stuff. Some toilet paper, matches, 
couple of hand warmers looks like. Got to keep all these safe from the pack rats. And mostly these go in back in my house. I'm not left-handed and it kind of shows, don't it? Okay, and then this one. I rigged this up last year. And I haven't really got a chance to use it that much. I've taken it a couple of times. Um, what it is, it's, it's one of them folding chairs. I put some Velcro on here to keep it from bouncing. Let's see, I think that might be the only strap. Okay, so what it is... Open that up. Oops. Open that up like that. And I have a chair for calling coyotes so I don't have to sit in the snow. Put that back in the brush someplace and uh, got a pretty decent chair that has backpack straps to it. it again. Backpack straps to it, a small pouch for different stuff, double pocket. This little toggle um, that's one of those ferrule rods. You can start fire with that. I can just poke this through this grommet here. Like that to hold it shut. This, of course, is an extendable shooting and walking type stick. And then, like I said, you had backpack, backpack straps. And the chair itself comes with a little bag attached to it which I have a uh, rangefinder that Dave Morelli gave me. And a little bit of string and a couple of coyote calls. So, pretty practical little setup. This one kind of lives in my truck. I don't take it out very much. It's been in there since last winter. Like I said, I'm a... <laughs> I'm a backpack hoarder. Hillbilly says you're only a hoarder if you collect junk that it's not for sale. If you collect it to keep, you're a hoarder. He's a reseller, he says. Which I think he's probably right. I'm probably a backpack hoarder. Now this thing is interesting. I've never used this. I picked this up at a, um, that rags and wags they call it, that, um, um, thrift store the animal shelter runs what this is is a vest you wear this and it's got big roomy backpack bags on it kind of a funny looking thing but it seems pretty practical to me. You got these big pockets. You got a big game pouch back here. It's got some pockets on the inside, zippered ones. And everything, instead of having a pack frame of any kind, you just put it on like a vest and away you go. Oh, look at there. I didn't know that was even in there. Not sure what that is. I guess it's a orange thing so you don't get shot at. I don't worry about that around here. Montana requires fluorescent orange. Makes you walk around looking like a pumpkin. But Idaho doesn't, and I'm sure glad of it. I don't care for this stuff. Anyway, what I started to say is when we lived over in Washington State, back in the 80s, uh, you would look at a, you'd had to wear orange first off, you would look at somebody up on the ridge through your binoculars, only to see them looking at you through their rifle scope. 
and I didn't like that. And there was one time I was on my knees watching these uh, the deer coming across the hillside, and the last one in line was a buck, and they're coming across the hill, and they all stopped, and they were looking up the hill. So I looked up the hill. Here's an orange hat, and I heard this waggity waggity whack, and then a boom, because the speed of sound is slower than the bullet. That wackity whack was a bullet clipping branches up pretty much above my head. It wasn't real close, but it was closer than I wanted it to be. But I don't like the idea of people seeing me. I mean, I would much rather, if I get shot by accident, than somebody looking through their scope wondering who I am and accidentally bump the trigger. I think that's a way more likely than just, you know, happening to be at the wrong place at the wrong time. So here's a few more of my favorite ones. These ones here are those Alice frames. They've got a they've got a really lightweight metal frame to them. Big roomy bag, lots of pockets in them. Got two of those. This one's one of my hunting packs. I got a bunch of stuff in that one that's ready to go. So I don't know. The more I look at all these, the more I realize that I don't have very many of them. I think I'm going to have to steal that one Cindy took back. What do you think, my dear? So, you have all these, and plus who knows what more, and you're begrudging me one back? Oh, well, yeah. That's okay. the best one. <laughs> yeah, right. You can have it back as soon as the year's over with. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Actually, I was thinking I might use that one as a pattern and make some more of those um, canvas ones like that. Those are really neat. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> Have a good evening. See you tomorrow, folks.